Squad here, back with another Hello. video. P Squad here, ready to make a new video. So today I'm going to give you tips and tricks on how to make this deck more overpowered than you think. If you don't know what the deck is called, it's called Elemental Hero, uh, Legend of the Crystal Beast. You might not be able to read that. So this is Ultimate Crystal Rainbow Dragon Overdrive. And this is Rainbow Over Dragon. This is the main card you want to try and get. So, beware, <laughs> these cards are overpowered. So if you're ever playing against this deck, beware. You, if they get those cards, that makes game over. So, I'm going to pick up one, two, three, four, five. So, just to give you a strategy, I've read the game before. So, Crystal Master, you want this. You also want Crystal Bee's Tortoise. You want Crystal Abundance. You want Crystal Bee's Amethyst Cat. And Crystal Bond. Why you, The main card you need for this strategy is Crystal Bond. Crystal Bond is a card that when placed down... You can't see that, guys. Uh... Let me move the camera a little bit. You can see. Can you see it now? Yep. So when this card is placed down, I'll tell you, I'll, recommend, I'll remind you what card's a card. So, as you can see, let me get the camera right. Crystal Bond right there. So, what this is going to do, when you're using this card, this specific card, Crystal Bond, this card This card specifically lets you pay, take two Crystal Beast Monsters. So So you can take Crystal Beast. So if I were you take I've already got the two cards that you'd normally get in my hand, so if you have those, get Crystal Beast Sapphire Pegasus and Crystal Beast Topaz Tiger. What it does, but this card, you place one of them in the Spider Trap Zone. If I were you, I would put Crystal Beast Sapphire Pegasus in the Trap Zone, even though it's got more attack than Topaz Tiger. Place Topaz Tiger face down in defense. So what this, this is, what I'm doing right now, is I'm getting ready to use one of these cards. Comment down below which card you think I'm going to use. So, at end my turn, the opponent uses his turn. So I draw, and I get Metaverse. As you can see there, close up, Metaverse. Metaverse, take one field spell from your deck and either activate it or add it to my hand. So if you don't know what trap spell is looking up, it's hard to explain. So I'm going to use it and get a trap, um, a field spell. Ah, uh, I'm going to get that. I'm going to save this card for later. So I'm not going to tell you what I got. I'm going to use Crystal Master in a tap position face up. Use its Crystal Master, you want close up? Crystal Master. Use its arrow thing. It's no use its pendulum effect. Which is you can tribute this card, add one ultimate crystal monster, crystal beast monster, or crystal spell slash trap from your deck to your hand. Do whatever you want except for ultimate crystal monster. So, use this and Metaverse to the graveyard because you've already used it. So with that, search for your deck for any card you want. Crystal Beast, Spell Slash Trap, and I am going to get... card crystal tree 
Crystal Chi is the most overpowered card in this deck. What this does, it's a multi multi counter. Multi counter is I have no idea. You put a counter on it when a crystal beast sapphire crystal beast is in. So if you don't want to use this, just send it to the graveyard. But in real match, you couldn't do that. So be careful with what you pick. So <clears throat> remember, I have these cards. This card right now, I'm gonna use. So place it down. Send all cards in your spell and trap zone to the GUI. Place as many crystal beast monsters as possible from your GUI face up in your spell and trap zone to continue spells. During the end of this turn, all crystal beast monster cards use one control are destroyed. So all crystal beast monsters, so bang all these you can see here i get all my crystal beast monsters from my deck from my graveyard to my hand so bang bang and you want to place these in your spell trap zone you so what you want to do one of my cards effects is I have to send it to the graveyard though. So it's Crystal Beast Emerald Tortoise. What that lets me do is get any card I want. So I'm gonna get Crystal Bond. Use Crystal Bond. And what Crystal Bond lets me do, as you saw before. Deck again. Let's me get a crystal spell slash chat. Crystal ultimate card. Or crystal beast go so I'm gonna get spell slash trap what you want to do is get get ultimate crystal magic so I was just reading it because I've barely played this deck so you want to use that card once you've got it. And once you've got that card, you're going to use it. What that does, send all seven Crystal Beast cards in the deck to the GY. And hand, by the way. And on the field. So... So, where are they, where are they, where are they? This is also one of the strategies you actually need. So, got Crystal Beast Cobalt Eagle, Crystal Beast Carbuncle, and Crystal Beast Amber Mammoth. And, since we have all seven of the Crystal Beast cards, this send them to the graveyard send this to the graveyard uh, and then summon bang crystal be rainbow over dragon summon him in attack position it'd be a dumb play if you actually put it in defense so don't do that right so you end your turn and the opposite player ends his turn I pick up, I get rare value, keep this in your hand if you actually get it. So, so if you have not gotten to this step yet, then you have two or more crystal beast monsters in your spell and trap zone, there. What this does is your opponent chooses one crystal beast in your in your spell and trap zone. They send it to the GY. And then you draw two cards. So what I would have got was these two. 
Crystal Billions and Crystal Pear. So, because I've already looked at them, I'm going to put them to the bottom of the deck. I've still got Crystal Bond. If you want to know what Crystal Bond will do for me, I'm going to send it to the GUI for a special reason. But I'm also going to use its effect. The deck, I go. So, what you want to do is you bring. So if you're not on the step again where there's Rainbow Dragon Oak Trap, get Haemon Lord of Striking Thunder. Haemon Lord of Striking Thunder. Okay. And because you've got him, you should still have three continuous spells in your spell and trap zone. So if you do, if you do, one, two, three. You can send them to the GUI and special summon Heyman Lord of Striking Thunder. Once you've done that, it is. This is a card you then want to send to the GUI. What this does, again, as I told you, bring back Heyman Lord of Striking Thunder. What you don't know, this guy is actually an ultimate crystal card. So since the seven crystal beast cards you already have are in the graveyard, you can send this to the graveyard, which then lets you summon this crystal beast rainbow dragon overdrive, ultimate crystal rainbow dragon overdrive. Sorry about that. So now you have these two cards down, the god cards in the deck, and you still have rare value. You you're probably thinking, what am I going to do with rare value? Rare value is a good card. Just when you're doing the strategy, it's kind of bad. It's already this far, but if you're already like in the start, if you get rare value, it's not really good for the strategy. So, but yeah, if you want another strategy for a speed duel deck, a, a, a cyber deck, just comment down below or like the video. Like the video if you want more videos like this. Do you want this deck again, like a part two, like a second strategy? Comment down below, part two. And rare that, right? This is the amount of cards. You should have at least one. You should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen cards in your graveyard. But I'm just gonna give you one tip. Attack direct with both of these, unless one of their spawn trap cards like negates it and brings it back to you. That's why you want to read their spawn trap zone stuff. So, if they don't have any of those cards, attack them directly. Because they have 4,000 attack each, they're instantly dead. So, yeah, just do that. So, peace. Peace.